songs thrilling and chilling and also shock filling the Milton the Monster Show. It's daring and scaring, you'll find yourself staring at Milton the Monster Show. Your flesh will creep, your heart will thump, the sights will paralyze. But then you'll see the strangest things that ever met your eyes. It's loony and goony and practically swoony. You'll shake and you'll quake at the sights that they make on the Milton the Monster Show. Introducing the star of this show, Milton the Monster. He blows his stack when he flips his lid. Although he's a monster, he's just a big kid. And now he's ready to go on the Milton the Monster. Brought to you by... Faster than a streaking rocket. Speedier than a flash of light. It's Fearless Fly! Possessed with a super strength so powerful, no fly swatter can harm him. No flypaper can hold him. No insecticide can stop him. Always careful not to reveal his true identity, Fearless Fly hides from view as he removes his glasses, which generate millions of megatons of energy through the sensitive muscles in his head, and becomes a meek, mild, passive little fly known as Hiram. At this very moment, the great wizard from Tibet, Dr. Gu Fi, and his assistant, Gung Ho, are flying to the Sugar Bowl in another attempt to capture Fearless Fly. What is your plan this time, Dr. Gu Fi? It is a known fact that Hiram Fly and Fearless Fly are close friends. So I will trick Hiram into leading me to him. Then I will capture Fearless Fly with my new super adhesive flypaper. But Dr. Goofy, everyone knows that no flypaper can hold him. This can. It's the strongest flypaper ever made. Man, that's flypaper. Drink up, Hiram. I don't think I can, horsey. Weakling, I've had nine sodas to your five, and this is my tenth. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> the dope. There. What'll you have now, chocolate soda or vanilla soda? <laughs> Bicarbonate soda. <laughs> Hello, horsey. Hiram! <laughs> Oh. We were having a soda drinking contest and he lost. <laughs> Hiram Fly hangs out in that sugar bowl. Shall we grab him now? Wait, someone's coming out. Is there a doctor in the yard? I'm a doctor, my card. Oh, my friend is very sick. I must help. What about Hiram? He can wait. I may be a treacherous, villainous old man, but I am still a doctor. I will now make a house fly call. It's Hiram Fly. I hope he's not too sick to lead me to Fearless Fly. Have you ever treated flies? That's my specialty. You think they let me treat people? How is he, doctor? This fly has a flyrus infection. Now's my chance. I will take him to my ranch for a complete rest. Be sure to tell his good friend Fearless Fly to come and visit him. Now to my ranch in Arizona. <laughs> We've been here three days and still no fearless fly. I wonder what's keeping him away. It could be your guitar. Gee, I'm getting homesick. Oh, Dr. Goofy, I think I'm well enough to go home now. You're too weak to travel. Wait till your friend Fearless Fly comes to visit you. He will take you home. I wonder why he wants Fearless Fly to come here. 
So where is Felix Fly? I thought he and Hiram always stick together. Don't worry, they will when this super adhesive flypaper hits them. So that's it. I'd better get out of here. He's escaping. I'll head him off at the path. where Fearless Fly is, or I'll drill you full of holes. I'll make him tell. I know a worse torture. I'll play the guitar again. As Hiram, I'm helpless. But as Fearless Fly, I have a chance. All right, I'll take you to Fearless Fly. Fearless Fly is in that matchbox. I'll tell him you're here. You have visitors, Fearless Fly. Thank you, Hiram. Don't mention it. Now to welcome my visitors. There he is. Strike one. Strike two. I always was good at catching flies. He's loose. Now it's my turn at bat. Ooh. Now for you, Dr. Goofy. Wait, before you hit me, can I say one last thing? What? Is there a real doctor in the yard? I think Dr. Goofy has learned not to fool around with fearless flying. Yuck. Or me either. You rang, sir? What took you so long? When I ring that bell, it's for something important. Milton, you're kind, cheerful, trustworthy, gentle, tender, friendly, and courteous. But you're holding up the show. Make room for what's coming up next. Fluky look. Fluky look. From the west he come a riding, and luck was on his side. Come a riding to the east. Across the Great Divide, you might think that in the East they'd laugh this cowboy out of sight, but somehow everything he does turns out right. They call him Fluky Luke. Fluky Luke. Fluky Luke. Our story opens in the country at a hidden mountain retreat as the notorious gangster Spider Webb summons his men to a secret meeting. And now, folks, we're going to have a few words from the country's number one crook, our beloved boss, Spider Webb. Come on, let's hear it for the spider, folks. Hip, hip. Hooray! Gosh, sorry, Spider. Oh, that's okay, Ralph. Spider Webb wasn't king of the mob for nothing. For nothing? Are you kidding? There's millions in the rackets. Now, you guys all know why I call this meeting. It's so we can discuss ways and means of getting rid of a certain guy. Without this one guy around, you'd all make a lot more money. But well, we don't want to get rid of you, Spider. You're the boss. We like you. Yeah, Spider. I'm not talking about me, you dopes. I'm talking about Fluky Luke. Fluky Luke? <laughs> Hold it, hold it. There's nothing to worry about. He ain't here. Ah, they don't make crooks like they used to. Who is this man, Fluky Luke, whose very name fills the hearts of the underworld with terror? The only man the underworld fears, and with good reason. I wish somebody would tell me the reason. Assisting Fluky Luke in his war against crime were his constant companions, the faithful Indian Two Feathers. Sure, and where would this country be today without the Indians? You ever heard an Indian talk like that before? And his dependable horse, Pronto. He's dependable, all right. When trouble starts, he's always ready to run the other way. Meanwhile, Spider Webb has finished his instructions to his mob. Now, you got it? We use two cars. While you guys in car number one are taking care of Fluky Luke, the guys in car number two will be robbing the hopeless diamond from Stephanie's. Okay? Now, 
Any questions? I got one, Spider. I got one too, Spider. Okay, shoot! Brilliant, brilliant! And so the gangsters got to work, following Spiderweb's daring master plan. A plan that would eliminate his nemesis, Fluky Luke, and bring him the most priceless gem in the world, the hopeless diamond. Okay, hold it. This is it. Watch up, Franco. I think he's trying to tell us something. A faithful horse could only speak in the language of his kind. Charades. One way, second half. Mix, cycle, going around, stir. Second part, stir. What's the first part? Cheerleader, dancer, singer. Oh, past tense, sing. Shang! Sounds like shang? Rang? Brang? Bang? Gang! I got it, gangsters! Gangsters? Where are they, Pronto? Right here! Yeah, I like Spiderweb said, we're stealing the hopeless diamond from you, Mr. Stephanie. So, hand it over. No, no, Maurice. You got it wrong. The fellas in car number two are stealing a hopeless diamond from Stephanie's. We're car number one, see? We're supposed to take care of this troublemaking private snooper, Fluky Luke. Remember? Oh, yeah? So, okay, let's. Come on, Two Feathers. Red light. That means stop. So why are we going? Well, it's the hold up. Follow that car, Pronto! Which way did they go? I don't know. When the shooting started, I closed my eyes. Meanwhile, Spiderweb waited for results of his daring master plan. According to my plan, car number two with the diamond should be arriving now! Oh, I'd like to see Fluky Luke's face now. Oh, pardon me, mister. Did you happen to see a black car pass this way filled with crooks? Fluky Luke! Spider Web! The hopeless diamond! And so the chase began. The wily gangster in his souped up super obligato eight. And after him, the indomitable Fluky Luke on his dependable horse. <laughs> Atta boy, Pronto. You're looking good, boy. Only trouble is, you ain't running good. Don't worry, sure, and I know a shortcut. We take the A train uptown. You heard him, Pronto. <laughs> Watch those steps, boy. <laughs> this is the best way to travel. And so the hopeless diamond was returned to Stephanie's, thanks to Fluky Luke. How does he do it? I'll tell you something. I got luck, but it's all bad. No time for sadness. The show must go on. On top of old Horror Hill, in a secret laboratory, Professor Weirdo and Count Kook were in their monstrous glory. Six drops of the essence of terror, five drops of sinister sauce. When the stirring's done, may I like the spoon? Of course, ha ha, of course. Now for the tincture of tenderness, but I must use only a touch. For without a touch of tenderness, it might destroy me. Oops, too much. Better hold your breath, it's starting to tick. Better hold my hand, I'm feeling sick. Hello, Dad. What have I done? I'm Milton, your brand new son. Ready? Aim. Fire. Oh, my God.
ever profess a fruitcake? No, do you? Never. I will fight till the last piece of ammunition is gone. Counterattack! Well, there goes the ammunition. What do we do now, Professor Riedo? What would any great general do at a time like this? Surrender. I'll send him a note by carrier bat. <laughs> at ease. Take this message to Professor Fruitcake. A bat, face. Forward, fly. Cease fire! You two shouldn't fight. You should get together and be partners. But how could we trust each other? We're both such cheats. By arranging a marriage between the families. A marriage? How? Professor Fruitcake just created a girl monster. That's right. And she just had her coming out of the pot party. Well, your girl monster could marry one of our boy monsters, and our families would be united. It's for the sacred honor of Horror Hill. And may the best monster win. <laughs> She'll probably pick you, Havy, because you're the handsomest. I know, but I don't want to get married. Me neither. I'd give my right eye to stay single. They're here! I'm sorry we're late, but I couldn't get her out of the beauty parlor. It's my pleasure to introduce Zelda the Zombie. May I take her, Hyatt? No, that's part of her head. Hey, she's not half bad. Watch me turn on the charm. Would you like a chair? I brought you dessert. She's a lovely girl. What's your formula? I'll tell you after the wedding. And now, before Zelda the zombie chooses her mate, Hebe, Jeebe, and Milton will demonstrate their horrible skills. What are they going to do? Wrestle alligators? Shrink skulls? No, they're going to sing. That's horrible? You haven't heard them sing. One, two. We are three monsters. Yeah, yeah. Three ghastly monsters. Yeah, yeah. We may be monsters, but we're all in love with you. My name is Hebe. We'd make a twosome, cause you're so ugly and I'm so gruesome. We are three monsters. Yeah, yeah. Three ghastly monsters. Yeah, yeah. We may be monsters, but we're all in love with you. My name is Jeepy, and I'll be true, cause I really have an eye for you. We are three monsters, yeah, yeah. three ghastly monsters. Yeah, yeah. We may be monsters, but we're all in love with you. My name is Milton, I'm not good looking, but I come in handy when you're cooking. We are three monsters, yeah, yeah. three ghastly monsters. Yeah, yeah. We may be monsters, but we're all in love with you. Well, that's it, Professor Fruitcake. Which one does she want? I'll ask her. She's made her decision. Not exactly, but I'll go study. Put out that light! So we can watch some scenes from next week's show. Stop! 
Unless you give yourself up, I will drop her in this jar of suntan lotion. All right, I give up. What could they possibly do to hurt Fearless Fly? Grab him. I'll pay a thousand. One thousand five hundred. Two thousand dollars. Sold to the lady with a green plaid checkbook. Two thousand smackers for some orangutan's fingerprints. Oh. Cook! My problems with Milton are over! Look! Wealthy spinster wishes to meet eligible bachelor. Object matrimony. Great, I'll be your best man. Not me, you fool! Milton! The bells that are ringing say it was fun bringing you Milton the Monster Show. So daring and scaring, it was a joy sharing the Milton the Monster Show. Now all of us must take that creepy trip down Hara Hill. Beware of the dangers along the way, or you may take a spill. Thrilling and chilling and also shock filling, twas loony and goony and practically swoony, the Milton the Monster Show. When he flips his lid and he blows his stack, he says, Goodbye, but next week I'll be back. So be here when he's ready to go on the Milton the Monster Show. Brought to you by...